Did you know there's a connection between God's love for us, our reciprocating that love, and the strength to overcome adversity? You might wonder, what does loving God have to do with overcoming life's most difficult trials? But check out what the scriptures have to say. In Psalm 91 verse 14, the scriptures tell us this, I will rescue those who love me. The scriptures tell us that God so loved the world in John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten son so that all who believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Now, when you think how much God has already given us, it says if God has already given us his own son, what will he now give us? So whatever you're going through right now, it might feel like you won't make it through. And we also don't know what the fallout is going to be from all that's going on right now in the next few months. But I want to reassure you that God loves you and he is right in there with you. The scriptures tell us also in Romans 8.35, can anything separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean that God no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity, if we're persecuted or in danger or threatened with death? Then the next verse emphatically says, no, despite all these things, we have overwhelming victory through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord. And then in verse 38 of Romans chapter 8, the scriptures tell us this, I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither fears for today, or worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. So I want to encourage you during these challenging times to let your faith be strengthened by the love that God has for us. Check out another scripture. When I say there's a connection between the love God has for us, the love we have for him in return, and the strength to overcome adversity, think about Ephesians chapter 3 verse 17. There, the scriptures encourage us. God says, let your roots go deep down into God's love, and this will keep you strong. And that's where that, that connection is. If you want to receive strength to overcome whatever you're going through now, you will need to dig deep into your faith and really connect with the fact that God loves you. But then you might ask, if God loves me, why am I going through all of it? all of these things. Why is life so difficult? Why are bad things happening? Well, the scriptures do not tell us that bad things will not happen, but God reassures us again and again and again that he will be with us. In Psalm 23, the psalmist says, when you go through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil because I will be there with you. So these are the things that I always find a little bit challenging about faith and having faith in God is when God says, I will be with you instead of taking the trouble away. I prefer if he says you will have no trouble, but we are in a fallen world. We are in a world that's ridden with sin and errors and calamities and mistakes, all springing from the original sin of humankind when God created the first two human beings. But without going into that history, we all know that the situation we're all faced with right now are challenging. And someone said it like this, that it's like we're all in a sci-fi movie with our masks on and waiting for the director to say cut so we can take our masks off and start to breathe again. But I want you to know that despite all of these things, the scripture says we have overwhelming victory. I love that word, overwhelming. It's not just victory, it's overwhelming victory. So I want to impart to you today the strength to overcome whatever you're going through. You might have financial challenges. You might have relational challenges. Worse, we might be challenged in our health. And some of us have lost loved ones. But the scriptures tell us in the scripture I just read that nothing can separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, nor anything in the heavens above or in the earth below. So I want you to know that whatever you are going through, God is right there with you. And he promises in Romans 8, 28, to work everything together for your good. And when he says everything, it means everything. The good things, the bad things, 
the ugly things, the lovely things, God will work them all together to produce something good in your life. But you might say, what I'm going through can never be worked through for good. It's so hard. I want you to receive strength from those scriptures I just read, that God promises to rescue those that love him. So what we need to focus on is our love for God and to reconnect with that love, the source of our strength, and to know that God cares for us. And that's why he said, when your roots go deep down into my love, that will keep you strong.